welcome back to the channel. So as you can tell from that little clip in the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking about my time in hospital following my scoliosis surgery. So I've rooted out all the photos, all the videos that I've got of my surgery that I had nine years ago and I'm just going to be talking you through them today. So my surgery was nine hours long and this little video clip is from when I was in intensive care and I was just waking up and I was um, in a lot of pain as you can probably tell I was just moaning probably quite out of it because of the uh, medicine that I've been given. So these next few pictures are from when I was in intensive care um, most of the time probably just sleeping um, trying to get some rest from the pain. I was hooked up to lots of monitors, monitoring my heart rate. As you can see, I've got my legs that have um, like compression um, pads on them because I'm laid down, don't want to get any um, blood clots or anything like that. I also had a morphine pump, which I could press if I needed um, more dosing up, I guess. Um, so that was really good. I think I was just um, pressing it permanently um, just to get some sort of relief. Um, so I stayed in intensive care for I think it was about four days. Um, throughout that time, they did get me up out of bed. They wanted me to um, walk around the, the ward and to be able to use the toilet myself. So one thing that happened while I was in um, hospital was that when I woke up from the surgery I had a catheterine which a lot of people do when they're going through other surgeries and especially this surgery um, you normally will have a catheterine um, but at the time I didn't know that I was allergic to latex so this was actually really really painful for me and when the nurses um, came round they had to pull on the catheter and because I was allergic everything was really swollen so that was really really pleasant and um, so yeah I did get that taken out as soon as possible because I was just in pain from that as well and um, yeah so as you can see from the photos I well you might not know if you don't know me but I am quite swollen in those photos because I was so swollen um, and my belly was so swollen they thought I would have um, some sort of fluid in my stomach and they therefore put a tube um, down my nose in order to suck out that fluid and this was a really traumatic experience for me and actually I don't really think they um, poured up any fluid so that was nice um, but yeah another thing that I um, realised or noticed when I was in intensive care was that I was on a lot of morphine and I was actually allergic to morphine so this caused me um, to throw up a lot and all I was throwing up was bile. Obviously just having spinal fusion surgery this isn't ideal because when you're being sick you want to retch and I couldn't and this was very unusual for me so I was just kind of projectile vomiting um, this green bile um, everywhere and um, so yeah I did get taken off the morphine but I guess you don't know these things before you go in for the surgery like I would have never known that I was allergic to morphine or to latex before so it's just one of them things so then I got moved to the children's ward so I moved from intensive care to the children's ward and I probably stayed on the children's ward for um, just over a week so I was in the hospital around two weeks in total and um, so on the children's ward yeah I was allowed um, my mum and dad to stay with me so as you can see I've got that little bed next to me um, where they could sleep I also was allowed that in intensive care so as I was 14 I could either go to the adults ward or the children's ward and I remember um, really pushing for the children's ward and managed to get in there so that was good. So from this picture you can see that I am 
flowing through this tube and I'm trying to push all those three balls up at once. So that's just to um, monitor my lungs and my lung capacity to make sure everything's fine there and it was I could blow through that absolutely fine. So these next couple of photos show me sitting up in a hospital bed and also standing up. So when you're in hospital they do like you to get up and out of bed as soon as possible just so you can get everything moving and you don't have that anxiety about getting up. Um, so it was really really scary at first so when you're laying down in the hospital bed you cannot, um, you don't have the strength to, and you don't know how to pull yourself up so you do get rolled onto your side and then the nurses will hold you, hold your body and then slowly bring you up to a seating position. So that was a really weird sensation to not be kind of able to do that myself. Um, and that's probably still something that I do now. I still have to roll onto my side and then sit up that way in order to get out of bed. Obviously a lot different than just being able to bring yourself bought upright. So another thing that they need you to do before you go home is to be able to walk around the ward and also go up and down stairs. So the stairs wasn't really um, an issue for me back at home because I only have like three stairs in my house. Um, but for people who have stairs that need to get up to the bedroom, that's why they do this. And yeah, it was really, really, really scary at first um, going with them up the stairs. I was so scared, um, but yeah, it's, it's all for the best. So these next couple of photos is just the nurse looking at my incision and um, so I had those like stereo strips over my scar and they remained on until I came home. So a great story about this was that the nurse came out to my house um, to take the stereo strips off and I was actually I found it so painful but also really really scary and I just would not let her anywhere near my back so I just had to um you know when you're in the shower just let them come off by themselves and that was no problem but yeah that was just really scary for me. So these next couple of photos show me actually leaving hospital and as you can probably tell I am crying, so I'm crying because I didn't want to leave hospital, I was scared about going home and yeah, I got an ambulance all the way home, so that was exciting. <laughs> so yeah, as my surgery was nine years ago now, these photos are probably really rubbish <laughs> compared to what um, people get today, but yeah, that's my journey of being in hospital and what I experienced while I was there. And I hope it's helped you if you're going into hospital for scoliosis surgery. I just want to say good luck and um, you'll be absolutely fine. You are definitely stronger than you think. So make sure to check out my other videos. I've done a whole series on scoliosis and spinal fusion and I'm going to be doing lots more talking about um, just days in my life, talking about the pain, exercises, things that I have to do differently, mobility with spinal fusion, that sort of thing. So I hope you will subscribe and give this video a like if it's helped you out.